DNR biologists are trudging through the snow into isolated caves, all to study bats. We're looking at a small part of the caves that are in the state. There are literally thousands of caves in West Virginia. We probably have data on two or three hundred. Cave surveys in the dead of winter are crucial to proper management. What we're looking for in the wintertime is to get some idea of population trends on these bats. We know that one of the main problems with some of the endangered bats, at least, is that they got disturbed repeatedly. Each arousal burns up like 30 days of hibernation energy. They wouldn't have enough body fat by the end of winter and would literally starve to death. Important caves have been gated, and the DNR does surveys once every two years to keep interference to a minimum. Surveys are conducted by counting and recording different species, which can be challenging. When we get a very large cluster of bats that really cluster together in oh, 400 per square foot, you might get over a thousand in a cluster. You can't really count them, so what we do is actually measure the area that those bats cover and then do a quick estimate. One thing that you're going to get counting bats is a sore neck. Now this is an eastern pipistrel. It's a very common bat in West Virginia, but we also have two endangered species here, and the DNR is working to protect those, and their efforts are paying off. Most of our bat populations are stable or increasing. And our biggest colony or, or population of Indiana bats in the state, that number has increased from about 3,300 to almost 9,000 bats since the mid-80s which is good because bats play a key role in the ecosystem. Yeah, I don't think people realize how important bats are, just overall controlling the insect populations. With West Virginia Wildlife, I'm Paul Bender, Eyewitness News.